Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Bro. Today, Apple has released iOS 17 Beta 3 to all developers today. Came in at 980 megabytes on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. My 14 Pro Max and installed it. Bill number is 21A5277H. And this is more of a bug fix update because the bill numbers are nearly identical to Beta 2 and 3. Just the second to the last digits have changed. So instead of saying 5268H like beta 2, it now says 5277H. So the bill number is exactly the same, just a number change. That means it's just a bug fix update. So let's get started. Go to settings, go to accessibility, scroll down towards the Siri, and this change is only noticeable if you're in dark mode. So you see previously we had these white boxes around the icons here for the speaking rate for Siri, which is the turtle and the rabbit. Now those are made to blend in with dark mode. In settings, when you go to Wallet and Apple Pay, you guys can now see on iOS 17 Beta 3, we have a new option for Show Apple Pay Later. Previously that didn't exist on Beta 2. On Messages, when you go down to the More Options button, which is the plus button, you guys can now see the location icon for beta 3 has now been updated. On beta 2 here on the left, you guys see it was blue. Now on beta 3 on the right, it's now darker. Guys, so on the Maps app, and by the way, I moved my map away from my current location, so I'm totally fine. In beta 2 here, when we dropped the pin, you had this button called Move. On beta 3, that has now been totally removed. All right, so in the Maps app, when you click Offline, you can now see that the button shape around the Wi-Fi only toggle has now been removed on beta 3. It looks much nicer, much cleaner now. In the mail app, whenever you go to like a mailbox, so previously on beta 2 when you refreshed it, the update just now would stick. But now on beta 3, you guys see every time you do it, it will now say checking for mail. All right guys, so on iOS 17 beta 2, we touched the phone notch to notch. Previously, both phones would drop down the same contact info. But now, if I have one on beta 2 and one on beta 3, then touch them together. You guys can now see, instead of pulling up the contact info on both phones, it now says no contact info. Which, it behaves differently now. I'm not sure why it does that, but I'm glad it does. So, in case I'm making a video and I accidentally touch my phone together, it won't show my personal info, which is great. Alright guys, so this next change is a major bug fix. Because in iOS 17 Beta 2, on all devices from the 13 down to the 10S model, there is a very infuriating bug where the touchscreen would start randomly doing certain gestures and tap, like tapping stuff. It was really annoying. This was most com noticeable on my iPhone 10R here. So my iPhone 10R on Beta 2, every time I would go play Subway Surfers, the screen would start pausing the game all by itself every single few seconds. To the point where I had to power my phone down until Beta 3 came out. But now, when I played Subway Surfers on Beta 3 here, you guys can see, after a few seconds, it no longer paused itself, which is great. So Apple fixed the touchscreen problem on from Beta 2 in Beta 3. You see, my 10R is now usable again, which is awesome. Because every time I would lay my phone down or something, my touchscreen would randomly start waking the phone up all by itself every few seconds. Caused my phone to die. It was really annoying. I actually had to power down my iPhone SE yesterday just to get to stop doing that. I just powered it on today to demo this video, to demo this. It's not doing it now, but every time I would hardcore use it to the, to the max, it would start doing that. My iPhone SE second gen. So it's good to see that Apple has fixed that bug. Guys, so this last change is that iOS 17 Beta 3 does feel a tad smoother than Beta 2 here. Guys, see, it's not very noticeable, but when you start using the phone in certain areas, it's kind of noticeable, it is. It's very subtle, but it is there. That opening everything just feels a tad smoother. It's not that choppy anymore, like on beta 2 and earlier, I'm just saying in general. So it may be different for other devices, but on the 14 and 13, it will be noticeable. All right, so that is iOS 17 beta 3 today. So. Overall, this is more of a bug fix update rather than a feature change update to fix a lot of bugs in beta 2, which I'm grateful for for Apple doing that. 
Alright, so it's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up for the video. Peace out.